As the sun begins to set, the Luangwa's most efficient predators start to stir. Wild dogs are the ultimate team players. This pack of 12 is led by a dominant pair. Local scientists have fitted them with radio collars to learn more about their movements. The dogs have spent most of their day sleeping, only moving to find a new patch of shade every now and then. In the day, temperatures regularly exceed 40 degrees Celsius. It's far too hot to hunt. Much better to wait till dusk and dawn when it's cooler. Wild dogs are incredibly social animals. Every time the pack wakes up, they greet each other. This highly ritualized ceremony constantly reaffirms their bonds. For a moment, all hierarchy is forgotten. Even the most dominant dogs act submissive. It keeps the team together, ready to hunt and feed as a pack. The alpha male heads off, signaling playtime's over. It's time to get serious. Impala and Puku make up an important part of this pack's diet. They slowly walk directly at their targets. No stealth, no subtlety. tries to get as close as possible, waiting for the herd to panic. When the prey break, the chase is on. Their secret weapon is endurance. They can sprint at 56 kilometers an hour for almost five kilometers and shift gear up to 64 when they need to. Their strategy is paying off. Their prey's tired, run down in under three kilometers. In some places, four out of five chases end in a meal, the highest hit rate of any African predator. They could reduce this male puku to bones in under 10 minutes. But after a high-speed chase, they need to cool down. On the hunt, rather than wasting precious water by sweating, they've let their body temperatures rise far above that of their surroundings. By saving water in this way, they can increase their endurance and cover greater distances. They take a dip to bring down the heat, but it's left their kill open to an unwelcome visitor. A male Nile crocodile has caught the dead puku's scent. Why bother hunting when it's easier to steal a meal? Crocodiles scavenge whenever they get the chance. The pack instinctively fears crocodiles, one of their few predators. They'll just have to watch their dinner slowly walk away. Others begin to follow the scent. Enlarged olfactory lobes in their brains let crocodiles smell a kill several kilometers away. 
In the cool of the night, they can scavenge hundreds of meters from the water's edge. Nile crocodiles can weigh up to a ton. Without water to support their weight, moving is exhausting. Every few meters, the thief needs a break. The other crocodiles are on his tail, a high octane chase in slow motion, right under the dog's noses. Nile crocodiles will feed together, tolerating each other at a carcass. The bigger they are, the greater their share. A five-meter monster moves in. Eating in water is difficult when there's nothing to anchor your food. Rolling, he uses the competition as leverage. The momentum produced by his massive body tears the puku away. Just like that, in one mouthful, the carcass is gone. He can head back to the main river satisfied. The same can't be said for the smaller crocs.